All right, so today's question of the day is sponsored by Wealthy Conversations, a car game designed to help couples, whether dating, engaged, or married, have healthy conversations about money so they can get on the same page financially. I want you to get yours today at anthonyoneal.com. Again, that is anthonyoneal.com. All right, so Lily, real yes. quick, we have a great question from Tasha, actually out of Atlanta. Okay. So Tasha, you can honestly reach out to Lily yes, to can. get uh, some, your answers, well, to get your questions answered and to get her to help you out with your estate plan. Uh, but Lily, she is 35 years old. She is single with no mm -hmm. kids. Okay. All right. She says, I've heard estate planning is for families with kids, but do I really need one? What would you say to yeah. her? I would say, Tasha, yes, get an estate plan but maybe we can just start with the basics. Okay, and the because basics in, are? In her situation, will, power of attorney, healthcare proxy. She may not even need the will because if Tasha tells me, Lily, I'm also not a homeowner, mm. I don't have any debt, I just have a few checking and savings accounts, okay. then you may, Tasha, be able to just skip the will and just name beneficiaries on those accounts. Okay. So you have the assets going directly to the named beneficiaries and a power of attorney and a healthcare proxy that says, I, Tasha, if I ever become incapacitated, I trust this person to make financial decisions and I trust this person to make healthcare decisions. That's the basics you're taking care of. As you add the homes and the businesses and the child or child number two or child number four, then we can layer it and make it more complex. But Tasha can just start with beneficiary designations, or a will, mm -hmm. and power of attorney health care proxy. Let's talk about the health care proxy real okay. quick, because I think that's very important for single people, especially yes. like myself. Yes. But from your experience and from your professional seat, why is that important to have a health care proxy? Because before we pass away, there's going most of us are going to experience some type of health scare. Mm -hmm. It could be someone has fallen down and passed out and they're non-responsive. Mm -hmm. It could be Alzheimer's, mm. dementia. It could mm. be severe depression where you've just stopped kind of participating in the upkeep of your life. Yes. You want to name someone who you trust who can swoop in and save the day. Okay. They can swoop in and talk to your doctor. They can make medical decisions. They can say, I don't like Hospital A. I don't like how they're treating Anthony. I want Anthony to be placed in Hospital C. Talk that talk. Um, I don't like that treatment. Yeah. I don't like this medication. I'll, he's not He's not responding well to it. I want a third opinion. Wow. You can't just roll up in the hospital and say, well, that's my sister. I can do that. Wait, 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 wait. I can't? No. <laughs> that's my sister. But you... Uh, remember that a hospital is a corporation. They need to protect themselves. You say that's your sister and you start making decisions and sister wakes up and says, who's Anthony? Or I've been estranged from Anthony for 15 years. He should never have been given the authority to make those types of decisions for me. She's suing the pants, the shirt, the buttons, the hat, the boots off of that hospital corporation. So get a healthcare proxy so you can choose who makes those decisions. So what if I have that, just so y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> this is my turn. We have all that. <laughs> he has me speaking. I have these things. But it's a good question to answer because a lot of people think, well, my mom can just make those decisions. Oh, no. Well, I will say this. Will you run into a doctor who's kind of says, hey, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. You might run into that person, but you should have instructions in writing to confirm. But legally, they don't have to listen to sister. Oh, absolutely to not. Absolutely because not. you are sister and mom. Yes. You want that healthcare proxy that says, I choose my mom, I choose my sister to make that decision. Wow. Same thing for power of attorney, which allows you to choose someone who can make legal and financial decisions. Wow. You don't get to just do that because that's your husband. Yeah. You don't just have access to your husband's accounts yeah, yeah, yeah. if your name is not on it. Yeah. So you need something that says, I have the ability to do that. And those of us, this is like... Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 to wait, wait. <laughs> you trying to tell me that I don't have a legal right to go in my wife's account? Is your name on the account? That's my wife. That's not that's not your account. <laughs> but that's my wife? That's lovely for you, your wife and the Lord. <laughs> that's lovely for you and So the you Lord. trying to tell that's me not lovely for you and Bank that of America. if I was married and my wife opens up a checking account and got a million dollars in that mug. Yes. And then she gets into a coma. Yes. I can't go get that money as her legal on paper husband. No. 
No, aunt. She needs to give you that authority. Yes, we, sh you all are married, but she has some autonomy. Her, le her legal paperwork, her banking institutions, her banking accounts, those belong to her. They don't, they're not a product of the marriage, per se. This is why estate planning is so important. Yeah, this, and, and the example you just gave has really nothing to do with money. I know you used the million dollars, yeah, but yeah. that could be, oh, that's where, you know, we made this agreement in our family where my, my wife pays the mortgage from her account. Yes. She gets hurt and the mortgage is still being asked for. Right. You know, the lender's not like, I'm sorry about what happened to you. You don't have to pay me. They still want their mortgage, and the account where the money comes from does not have your name on it, and you do not have a power of attorney. So we're gonna have to start selling chairs. <laughs> we'll have a, we'll have what are those things where people sell things on the lawn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, lawn chairs. No. Wait. When people come to your house and buy your stuff, when you put it. Oh, up there. garage sale. Garage sale. Thank yeah. you. We're gonna have to She's have a been garage. Been in New York too long. To have a garage wow. sale to get your money to do that. So yes, I would say to anyone, who, even if you don't think I have a lot of assets, at least think about the emergency document, the power of attorney, the healthcare proxy to name someone who can do that for you. So Tasha, name beneficiaries on accounts and or get a will and also get a power of attorney and a healthcare proxy. And for those of us, this is what, school season, right? September, yeah. a lot of us sent children off to school. They're 17, they're 18, they're they're adults. Yeah. But if something happens to your school, on, your child on that campus, yeah. you can't swoop in and have access to their account. What's going on, family? It's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. And I want to share a secret with you. I want to share something with you that I regret not doing sooner. If you've been thinking about getting life insurance, now is the time to act. Let me tell you about my friends over at Ethos, a life insurance company that's making waves with this affordability and ease of access. You can get coverage for as low as $30 a month. And my own rate was just around $60 dollars a month and I spend more than that on food delivery. <laughs> Let me be honest. I'm going to give you some quick points of why I love them so much. Number one is their rates and affordability. Imagine paying 30 or $68 a month for a peace of mind. That's less than most of your monthly subscriptions. Number two, ease of use. You can get up to $2 million in coverage without any medical exams or blood tests. Just answer a few quick, healthy questions and you're set. The entire process is 100% online and take less than 10 minutes. Number Number three, speed. You can get a quote in seconds. You can apply in minutes and have same day coverage. I got my coverage through Ethos literally in 10 minutes and got my thing back quick. Trust and reliability is the last thing I love about them. Ethos has an A plus rating with the BBB and stellar trust pilot reviews. Every day, around 2000 families are approved for life insurance through Ethos. Listen, I don't want you to wait. Life insurance rates can increase by eight to 10% each year you delay. I purchase my policy a few years ago and if i had waited until now my price would be significantly higher lock in your rate right now and secure your family's future i want you to visit anthonyoneillcom forward slash ethos to get your free life insurance quote apply and get coverage in under 10 minutes don't procrastinate take control of your future today you can't swoop in and make medical decisions at the hospital wait wait, wait, wait. you should get a power attorney for your children uh, as well for at college, yes. So wait a minute. <laughs> you sound distressed today. Maybe no, I'm so learning clear. something though. <laughs> Cause how many how many parents have sent their yes. kids off to college? Yes. And don't have a power of attorney. Uh, many. And think that just because I'm their mom and their their legal guardian yes. at 20, which there probably will be a lot of 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 doctors who will. Defer. Will defer and yield to yes. that, but they are not legally exactly held to defer exactly. to you. Exactly. So exactly. you want to go ahead and get that covered right. when your son goes right. to college, your daughter go to college. Right. You need to have them sign a power of attorney. Mm -hmm. See, I don't know if I want to give my mom and daddy power of attorney because yeah. in the power of attorney is the verbiage when I cannot make a yes. decision. Okay. You see what I'm saying? It depends. Right. The durable one, which gives mom authority right now while you are alive and oh, well. And you're no. trusted. But, okay, estate planning requires a lot of trust. You trust your mom? You think your mom's going to go into your account and just take your money out just because? No, no not, not you mamas, personally. But there are mamas who will do that. Though. Oh, well, then, then, then. Then you need to give them the. Limited. I mean, but respect for saying this now. I wouldn't do that now. Like, and I know my parents wouldn't do nothing wrong. Right. But I want full. 
authority over my stuff now. Yes, but your stuff is saying when I become incapacitated, yes. then you can step in and make these decisions. Right. But there are other forms that say the same thing, but technically, legally, it it's ineffective yeah. and it's in effect today. Yes. So we're trusting that mom, dad, grandma, sister, brother don't go crazy and start going into our accounts yeah. now. Yeah, and my parents were and do this like every time. But you know, Tasha, I pray that this is is answer your question. I want to encourage you. Um, you're five years younger than me. I'm single with no kids. I have an estate plan. Mm -hmm. I don't know your financial situation, right? Uh, but to ask that question, there are some assets that you do have. One thing that I did inside of my trust, and correct me if I'm wrong and mm -hmm. how I'm doing it, is I don't have any kids, but I do desire kids one day, mm -hmm. right? And so what I did was I opened up a 529. Yes. And I opened up a 529, and the beneficiary of the 529 is my my trust. You're, I think. You're asking me? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it, the, yeah. No, 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 no. The beneficiary, yeah, I know it is. The beneficiary on the 529 is a trust, because I'm, I'm already sowing into my kid's future if I'm blessed to have a kid. Mm -hmm. Inside of my trust, if something was to happen, those funds will be transferred to my nieces and my nephews. Okay. And so I would encourage you to call uh, Lily. She's in your state um, and just have a consultation. Her consultation fee is not expensive. When I first met her, I, I paid her consultation fee um, and she answered a lot of questions um, and even asked me more, more questions that made me ask her more questions <laughs> that made me be like, yeah, I need to hire you. Um, because I think there's a lot of things that we, TikTok is wrong on. Well. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that, that honestly, YouTube is wrong on, uh, which is why I bought someone who went to school for it, um, who has a degree for it, who's been in it for a while, that can give us the right information. Um, and so I would encourage you all to listen. If you're in one of these states that she's in, check her out. If you're not, go check out my friends over at Ethos because I promise you it will tremendously, tremendously bless you. So if you have a question that you would love uh, me to um, answer with myself, money-wise, or with our guest um, of the topic, shoot us, a, shoot us that question. Uh, askao at anthonyoneal.com. Again, that is askao at anthonyoneal.com. Um, and every single show we have, we're going to be answering your question. And don't forget, on every Wednesday, we're doing Build Your Table to where you're able to come up and ask me or my guests, if we have a guest, any questions uh, about anything around money, life, estate planning, investing, you name it. Mm -hmm. We do that Mondays at uh, noontime, Eastern Standard Time, or Eastern Daylight Saving Standard Time, whatever that is, but it's Eastern Time. Uh, so listen, we appreciate the questions. Send us your questions if you got one.